happy scrappy day everybody i'm here with the card share um this card share is for design team project for knit whip collections um i i can't even tell you how bananas bonkers i am for this um this company and their papers i'm just having the best time ever 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 um this collection is called uh dearly beloved and i will be going through the collection um, sharing it with you at the end of this video. So this is my first card and, um, this collection is geared towards weddings. Um, but I did not use it for weddings. Um, as you can see, it can be used beautifully for any type of love project. And of course it is near Valentine's day. So this is, um, a Valentine's day card. So, um, this is the gorgeous Look at the gorgeous, shabby, pretty papers. And this is one of the tags that comes with it. And I printed it for a sentiment area. And this is the top of the card. I did a Martha Stewart punch around the edge. I added a doily. Um, this is one of the printables from the collection that actually comes with a heart on it. And what I did was I cut out a couple more hearts and layered them um, to make it really dimensional. Um, Martha Stewart punched some butterflies, some flat back hearts I had in my stash. Um, real cute little birdcage ribbon that I had. I cut a piece out, layered some bows, um, little flat back heart with the bow on it for my center. Um, just layered some pink trim. And this is the scent, one of the sentiments from the collection. Um, love is a moment that lasts forever. I thought that was a perfect sentiment for a Valentine's Day card. Um, this bow was recently gifted to me by Sandra. And um, these flowers were gifted to me. I've had them in my stash for a while. And I thought they just looked really pretty. I layered them on top of a, a piece of rosette um, trim there. And voila. That is card number one. Um, so card number two is this card here. And love the pocket watch that comes with this collection. Just love, love, love it. And I layered the sentiment um, the same as the other one. I just printed it in a different size. I added lots of little... Martha Stewart punch butterflies round. Um, this is one of the flowers I printed from the collection and I just uh, kind of tucked it underneath and layered it over the sentiment there. Um, obviously a doily back here, some more of those flat back pearls, um, layered a doily back here. And this is one of the really pretty borders you can print from the collection. And then I just layered this rosette trim across the top and I love how that romantic and shabby that looks it pops up on that rosette trim and then i printed another one of the tags um, which is just gorgeous for your sentiment area so that's card number two card number three and i'm gonna surprise you here in a minute just you wait not this one but hang on um, this is a gorgeous doily that was recently um, gifted to me um, and I used it back here as well. I used the clock again um, and the flowers that um, were sent to me as a gift. Lots of layering, distressing, tearing. Um, this is one of the sentiments from the collection. Every love story is, a beautiful, is beautiful, but ours is my favorite. Um, distress that. Um, tore the paper here so that the heart would, the flower on the heart would show through. More butterflies. And just layers of lace and uh, more of the printable uh, border and layers. Just tons of layers. Martha Stewart punch around the edge again. And it pops up on this Chinese braid trim and another one of the gorgeous sentiment tags. So that's card number three. All right, here we go. <laughs> Drum roll. All right, <laughs> here is my next card. 
and this is a card I created in hopes um, that it would, I wanted to create a card that was for a man, and although it has pinks in the collection, I thought, you know, a lot of men wear pink when they get married, so if I just have a few little pops of pink, it should work out. Same sentiment as on the other card, um, downsized the, the pocket watch, there's a heart back here, and then you can see that the papers um, have some hints of brown, which worked well for the mail card, and then um, this is part of the collection. So you can see how it's kind of wedding-ish, but I thought it just worked beautifully for a mail card, and then I added a large doily on the back, and it pops up, and another pop of pink, and some white, and voila, card number four. You guys got to tell me how you think this will work for a man, or if it'll work for a man. I mean, it has to work for a man. It has a suit on it, but um, I'm curious what you got, guys got to say, because I don't, I don't usually do male cards. <laughs> Here is another um, card for a gentleman, and this is another, um, this is a heart that comes with the collection. You print it out, and of course, it looks like a tuxedo heart. It actually has a bow on the paper, but I added that black bow and um, uh, a pink flower right here for like on the lapel, just like just like I did on this one. Um, a large pocket watch, little uh, fabric flower cluster there, and this is a sentiment from the collection that says much love. A uh, doily here, a doily here and here. And then it just pops up like this. Um, I've got some wide white um, trim and I layered some pink Chinese braid trim there and you can see the brown stripes. I, um, I really hope you guys will let me know what you think of these mail cards and if they're masculine enough to give to, to a man. So I'm gonna set them up. I'm going to hope that you will go over, well, at, that you'll watch uh, my video on everything that comes in this collection and then head over to uh, Knitwit Collections and get you some. I'm telling you, you guys, um, I'm, I'm going bonkers bananas, and I mean it. I mean it. They're probably tired of hearing from me over there. <laughs> I'm like constantly. <laughs> All right. So here are all the cards created with this kit. And I'm actually probably going to make some more over the weekend and get them listed. Uh, as uh, you guys can find me on eBay under Scrapbook Fashionista. Um, I, will link, I will link them in the description box down below. So let me know which one's your favorite. And this is card number one. Card number two. Card number three, card number four, and card number five. So thanks for watching. Um, I promise you, you will be doing yourself a huge favor to go over to the Knitwit Collections. And um, let me know if you do, okay? Have a great day. Hey guys, Bye, I'm going to try to go through this collection without a tripod. Let's see if I can do it. So this is the collection Mr. and Mrs. and it's uh, uh, it's a bundle collection so you get that frame look at the dress oh it's a very pale pastel-y um, collection designed for weddings but Hopefully, as you saw with my project, it doesn't have to be just for a wedding. And remember, um, let me, I'm going to uh, share with you a, a link to a different way that you can downsize, um, but that's just one. You can... See, so you can make these any size you need them. I just love that. Shoe, 
that's pretty. So if you wanted to create yourself something for a wedding, oh, I just love that clock. And that. And also any type of love project this would work for. And when you see the papers, as you are now, you'll see how amazingly shabby chic when we get to the floral patterns. Look at that. Ugh. And see how many different color varieties you get of that same pattern. And then I love this one. Ugh. So, so, so love it. And then, you know, stripes and different um, little patterns that match. And you can see you have lots of, I super love that, super love that. You can print these out. Look at the buttons. There's a banner. And like I said, it's a very pastel -y, um, um collection. And I fussy cut all those out the other day. And within an hour, I had enough um, fussy cut for uh, an entire mini album. So you also get these solids. I'm not going to go through the solids. You get all of these um, letters and numbers. And these are great for banners, guys, because you can make them an 8x10, 5x7, or you can even make them small and fussy cut them out. Whatever you need. Um, these are, I think we kind of went through these in the other one. Ooh, look, I hear angels singing. <laughs> I love it. So these have words on them. Okay. And these pretty bows. Look at that. Gorgeous. I used that one on one of my cards and that one and the sentiments. And then all these sentiments for weddings. I mean, everything you could possibly need to make a wedding album. Okay. So there you go. Um, that is uh, the Dearly Beloved collection. I hope you will head over and even if this isn't your cup of tea, you don't need a wedding or a love themed uh, paper line. Like I said, you could use this for anything, anything. And um, there are 227, yes, you heard me right, 227 amazing collections. Head on over, check them out. See ya.